Good day, and welcome to the St. Clair of Assisi rendition of Cooks for Callers. I am Father Bill Glosser. I am pastor here of St. Clair of Assisi today. And I'm here to make a traditional German staple for many German dishes called Spätzle. And uh, it's a, a dish that we've been raised on and something that I think is simple enough for you to be able to make at home. Before I begin, uh, the apron I'm wearing says Paz Anders. This was Father Andy Palaha's apron when he was pastor of Immaculate Conception Parish in St. Clair, Pennsylvania for, from 1984 until about 1988, uh, where then he was transferred up to uh, the parish in Sladington. I was ordained in 1984 and being newly ordained as becomes customary when pastors do 40 hours, they get all the newly ordained to come and preach their Eucharistic days, their 40 hours special occasions. And so Father Palaha, being his first parish as a pastor down in Immaculate Conception in St. Clair, invited me to come down and preach 40 hours. With that, we became very good friends. And uh, it was a nice time. I learned an awful lot from this man. And uh, then, sadly to say, Toward the latter half of him being reassigned to Sladington, he, he, he got very ill and I went up to Sladington before uh, his illness got so bad that he went down to Holy Family Manor down in uh, Bethlehem uh, to be taken care of. Uh, Father Palaha was a fabulous man, a fabulous priest, a fabulous pastor. And sometimes we, uh, you know, forget about the good priests in our lives. And so I wear his apron today with this rendition of Cooks and Collars to remind all of us of our need to pray for our priests, the living, the deceased, those who are sick, those who are struggling with their priesthood. Uh, I was given this wonderful gift of Mary wrapping her mantle of love around her priests. So I encourage you to intercede to Mary for all priests today and wrap us in Mary's mantle through your prayers to enable us to be the good priests that we need to be for you. So anyway, as I said, we're going to make German Spätzle today. German Spätzle is basically a, a flour and an egg noodle, which uh, is boiled. It's a very simple recipe, uh, and it's a staple for so many things in, in German cuisine. But here in St. Clair, through the wonderful help of you know the ladies that cook for me, uh, we've kind of made it a staple here in the rectory too. Uh, I taught them how to make this and it's, it's very helpful. So basically uh, what we have this morning are our main ingredients. Uh, we have four cups of flour and we also have eight eggs that are beaten and we have two teaspoon, two teaspoons of sugar and three quarters cup of salt. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, two teaspoons of salt, thank you Manny, and three quarters cup of milk. So we've already added beaten eggs and we've already added the milk to it. So what I'm going to do is with my spatula, I'm going to make just a little bit of a well here within the flour. And actually I'm going to put it in a bigger bowl. Annie's in the sidelines, she's a shy one and what she knows I'm going to make a mess if I do it in a small bowl. So I'm going to make a little bit of a well here in the flour mixture and I'm going to add the eggs and the milk to this and I'm also going to put the salt in and then I'm going to mix everything up. So we mix this up very well and we get a nice creamy, almost batter-like cookie batter consistency. Uh, as I said, you could use a spatula, you could use a fork the way you beat eggs and you get it to work very well. So our batter is made, we're all set now to make the spatzel. Uh, you can, if you really like this dish, you can go out and actually get a spatzel maker and uh, this is one rendition of a spatzel maker 
it actually fits on the lid of this pan and with this scraper you're going to put some of the batter down and you're just going to vigorously go back and forth over these holes to get it to dump into the water. This is a brand new spade tool maker that I just bought. Uh, that's, that's great but you really got to work quick or the batter will, will harden on the top of it. So basically here we have another grater very similar to this with this contraption. It's going to slide in here like this and it's just going to go back and forth with the same idea. You want to try spade tool, you don't want to spend money. You can just get a sieve or something with some larger holes to try and put it on. We have a, a pot of water at a rolling boil. And uh, we're in good shape here now. And basically what we're going to do is uh, get another spoon. We won't get another spoon. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. And basically, just take the batter. We're going to dump it here in this. And Annie, I think I might need your help for this. Here, take the bowl, please. And then we're just going to go back and forth with the spade tool maker. And that's coming out really, really nice. A little bit more there in there for me, Annie. I'm very well blessed here in both of my parishes of St. Clair of Assisi and Holy Cross. My staff are more than just staff. My staff really have become my family. Uh, you know, since my mom and dad have passed, um, Okay, so for those of you of uh, Eastern European descent, or even East Central Europe, you know, most of you are big fans of pierogies, you know, that pierogies are boiled, and what happens then is the pierogies go in, they drop to the bottom, and then when they rise to the top, they're done. And the same thing applies to a spatzel noodle. And so we're just going to give these a little bit of a stir. And we got our... And when they rise to the top, they're done. I'm going to take the colander and scoop them out. Sometimes uh, they might have a tendency to clump together and uh, stick like you would like with any kind of pasta like spaghetti and my recommendation is just to take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it over and then just mix it and the olive oil will prevent it from uh, clumping up and I'm going to turn the heat off so it's very fast very quick it's not very difficult uh, to make you know, once again, probably the worst part of making spade sole is just all the steam from, 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 from the hot water. And basically, a spade sole noodle will come out, and it's just a simple noodle like that. Uh, really, really tasty. So we now have them all scooped out, and as I said, now this is a, a staple. It's like us with potatoes. Uh, there's lots of things that we can do with spatzel. And uh, we're going to show you three different ways uh, to make spatzel uh, and uh, make nice meals out of it. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. We're in the dining room here in St. Clair of Assisi. Um, every Tuesday night, sometimes even more, we have a group of priests that don't have cooks, and we come and we have priestly fellowship. Uh, we call this dining room the Keaton Memorial Dining Room because uh, Keaton was responsible for many of the reservations or, or renovations that occurred in this dining room. As you can see, we're all set for Christmas. You'll be watching these videos probably during Lent, but uh, you know, uh, it gives us an opportunity to show off our, our, our beautiful Christmas tree and all our Christmas tree, we have all of our wonderful staff and the volunteers that are very close. 
So uh, my administrative assistant, Marianne, is just going to pan the dining room, allow you to see the tree, allow you to see the, our nativity set, and uh, our beautiful set table, and then we'll talk a little bit about what's at the table. Probably the most traditional way of serving spatzel, as I said, is sort of like our rendition of meat and potatoes, like the Irish. So what we have here is a piece of chicken schnitzel or chicken cutlet, which was pounded and then uh, dipped in egg and then fried. Um, we have red cabbage, a sweet and sour cabbage that uh, the Germans like very much. And then we have our spatzel covered with brown gravy. Your chicken schnitzel could be Wiener schnitzel, which would be veal. It could be pork schnitzel, all made the same way. A nice, very hearty meal and something very similar to what we're very familiar with with eating. That's one of Annie's favorite meals. Well, not really. I'll show you Annie's favorite meal in just a second. Annie, why don't I let you explain this one. You're a, Annie's a critical care nurse in our local hospital. Uh, She's seen a lot of COVID, took, took care of one of the very first COVID patients here in Schuylkill County. Uh, because of her demanding job, she doesn't get an awful lot of time to eat, and so her mainstay is soup. And so one day when I went and made spatzel or showed Annie how to make spatzel, she said, I have an idea, and so Ann. This is chicken soup. As we know, chicken soup supposedly has medicinal healing. I would very much agree with that. But this is just regular chicken soup, chicken stock, we put some veggies in it, and then we added spatzel. And it just it's just an added layer to chicken soup. It's not chicken noodle soup, it's chicken spatzel, but it's delicious. Maybe you want to tell them about when you put the spatzel in. You put the spatzel in when, right before you're going to eat it. You don't want to put the spatzel in the broth prior because it will just suck up all the broth. So before you're gonna serve, you warm your soup, you can even warm your spatzel, but then add the spatzel right before you're ready to eat it. The last thing that we wanna show you is something that we came across. It's called Schwabische Spatzelkasse, which is German mac and cheese. It's made with Gruyere, it's made with some German Swiss, uh, some Swiss, Swiss, other kinds of Swiss cheeses, and it's also uh, with fried, with fried onions, caramelized onions, really, really good. We, we discovered this one year for Lent during COVID, and once again, uh, unfortunately, I've been eating it all morning out of the pot, so really, really a nice dish. So, um, there's spatzel three ways, okay? What are you, Father, what are you doing Jimmy, here? Hey, you know what goes great with gourmet meals like this? Candy from Holy Cross. Wait a minute, Terry. Wait a minute. Terry, this what, is what? 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 Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, no! So anyway, a little bit of fun. Uh, you saw the candy making video from Holy Cross. Uh, they actually get a twofer, so the candy angels up at Holy Cross, you better really like me uh, for Christmas this year. No, only kidding. Um, you saw a great meal that we made, three different meals. We're going to have a great lunch today. And uh, on behalf of all of us here at St. Clair de and Holy Cross Parish, we want to wish you all the best. And we thank you for this opportunity to participate with us in Cooks for Callers. And we we say, Mary, Mother of all priests, pray for us. Oh, Mary Ann. <laughs>